Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies pre-release preview of Pyreague Devco's Glasgow Airport scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm looking at a beta build of the airport today, so do bear in mind that certain things might change by the time it's released. However, as the release is scheduled for this weekend, I'm going to treat this much like a review of a finished product, because it's pretty much complete. As such, I'm going to take you on the usual tour of the airport in different weather and lighting conditions, pointing out the good bits and the less good bits before giving you my overall opinion on it. For now though, we're on final to runway 23 because I fancied starting with an approach like the good old days. So sit back, relax, enjoy the landing and I'll speak to you again once we're on the ground. Welcome to Glasgow, we're parked up here on stand 22 and as you can see the jetway is in the process of connecting to the aircraft, in fact it's now done and it's connected very nicely indeed. It should be noted that the two axis jetways like the one next door to us here do not currently function. The developer has tried to get them to work and has had some success but uh, they don't work reliably so currently they're not animated at all. Let's move on to having a look at some of the modelling and texturing around the airport, starting with the jetways. Now these have been done to an incredibly high standard, really crisp textures throughout, nicely weathered, they look very, very realistic indeed. You'll have noticed by now that there's quite a lot going on inside the terminal too, but before we get onto that, let's have a look at some of the exterior textures on this pier here. So down at ground level we have this brick wall texture, again it looks very, very convincing, and really no blurriness even if you get very close indeed. The concrete texture here is equally good and up on the roof you'll notice that again we have really high resolution textures, no blurriness to be seen anywhere at all. All three piers have been modelled to this same high standard so wherever you park your aircraft you're going to feel like you're really there. And the main terminal building's looking pretty impressive as well. Again, we have a really high standard of modelling, loads of detail included, just look at these roofs here, and super high resolution textures which look crisp from any distance. Pyreague have included a good amount of ground clutter across the airport, the vehicles are appropriately liveried and the models are very high quality. Let's take a look inside, shall we? And as we make our way in, uh, just take note of the tinted transparent glass, which looks absolutely fantastic, uh, appropriately reflective, and it retains its tint from the inside as well. And as with all recent Pyreague sceneries, the level of detail in here is absolutely astonishing. Uh, from the super crisp signage, take a look at this BA priority boarding sign here, uh, to the people, to the seating, to this rather nice uh, spiral staircase that goes down, uh, to cafes, to advertising on the walls. Pretty much everything that you would find in the real airport has been recreated in fantastic detail in this scenery. This is the International Pier, and once again, fantastic detailing. Uh, we've even got a departure board here, 
uh, with various real world flights scheduled to depart. Now, not every single inch of the interior has been modeled. There are little gaps, uh, but all of the areas which you might park an aircraft at have this level of detail. The control tower too has a modeled interior and looks absolutely fantastic from the outside as well. The level of detail Pyrig has included away from the main terminal areas is seriously impressive. Over on the Gamma Aviation apron here, we've got uh, a really high quality static jet model. Uh, we've got some people waiting outside the, uh, the jet. And we also have another one inside the hangar here with some people working on it. The quality of the texturing and modeling over here is every bit as good as over at the main terminal. Uh, just look how crisp this Scottish Ambulance Service sign is. And as we move further around to the left, we have another very high quality model, uh, this time of a Scottish Air Ambulance Service helicopter. While we're over here, I think it would be remiss of me not to mention the fencing, which has been done to a really, really high standard. It completely surrounds the airport and it's the finishing touch uh, on an airport like this that really just makes it feel ultra realistic. Let's take a look at the ground textures now, and these are very good. You will notice a little bit of blurriness on the apron areas here between these paving blocks. Now that, I'm pretty sure, is a sim limitation. You just can't have the resolution that you can in uh, certain older sims like P3D, for example. But in spite of this, in spite of this, the apron areas look very, very realistic. Just look at the dirt around here and uh, the lines in it. The materials used on the ground match the real airport perfectly and the transition between surfaces has been very nicely done. No horrible jagged edges, no blurriness either. Just look at the dirt around this taxiway line. This looks very realistic to me. There is one texture which I'm not such a fan of and this is really, really nitpicking here. Uh, but if you look at this taxiway texture here, it looks absolutely fantastic and very lifelike. And then you transition over to this material, uh, which just looks a bit too flat and clean and slightly detracts from the realism. But, uh, you know, that really, really is nitpicking. The ground markings are great. Very crisp, very easy to read, not too bright and cartoony, absolutely nothing to complain about at all in that department. The grassy areas all look great, as do the transitions between the grass and the taxiways. And the 3D taxiway signs are very nicely done and easy to read. The runway looks absolutely superb. It's one of the best runways I've seen in this sim. And the textures match the real airport absolutely perfectly, even down to this uh, area of darker material here. We've got really realistic looking rubber markings around the touchdown zone, and all of the runway markings are accurate as well. Pyrig have done a great job with the landside areas. The airport entrance looks fantastic. We've got a bit of transparent glass out here as well, as you can see, including on this walkway across the road. We've got accurate vehicles parked up. We've got really crisp ground textures uh, and the signage on the airport is really nicely done as well. The multi-storey car park has also been modelled complete with 3D vehicles in it and with uh, transparent glass on the staircases, which is incredible attention to detail. And we also have a couple of other buildings around and about the airport, including this Holiday Inn here. Pyrex Glasgow looks fantastic by night with very realistic apron lighting and very realistic interior lighting too. We've got the right amount of light coming through these uh, tinted windows, I think. And uh, whether you're looking from the apron to the terminal interior or looking out at the apron from inside the terminal, it looks incredibly realistic.
Glasgow looks okay in the snow. There are some areas that look absolutely fantastic, such as this taxiway here. Um, and there are some areas which look less good, uh, such as this area here, which has no snow on it at all. And some pretty harsh transitions with the thickly blanketed stand areas. The main thing for me is that the runway is not thickly covered in snow as you get in some add-on airports. Now Microsoft Flight Simulator is very difficult to work with when it comes to snow. Uh, some of you will probably be aware that the depth of snow displayed depends on the brightness of the underlying ground texture. Uh, which is crazy, but <laughs> but there it is. Overall I think Pyrig have done a pretty good job um, considering what they have to work with. So what do I think of Pyrex Glasgow? It is fantastic. The only thing I found to moan about is one single type of ground texture, which to be honest, I probably only noticed because of the exceptionally high quality of the rest of the ground textures. Everything about this airport screams realism, from the unrivaled quality of the modeling and texturing of the buildings, to the static business jets and air ambulance helicopters, to the detail in the terminal interiors. It is streets ahead of UK 2000's version and easily lives up to the standard we've come to expect from Pyreek. Go on, treat yourselves. It's nearly Christmas. I hope this has been useful. If it has, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and consider dropping me a follow over on Twitch at twitch.com slash philbertflies. I do regular live streams both here on YouTube and on Twitch, and I'm sure Glasgow will feature in one of them in the very near future. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.